Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Radioactive Fry SMG continuing this playthrough of Sonic Boom Fire and Ice for the Nintendo 3DS. In the last episode, we went through Gothic Gardens, probably my favorite stage in the entire game so far. And uh, yeah, we did that. There wasn't a boss for this world, we just kind of went through the stages, you know, still ended up being my favorite uh, zone so far in the game. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be moving on into the final zone of this game, wrapping up this. Uh, of this game. We're gonna be moving on into Ragnarok in this episode today. So before we begin, I would like to text y'all to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 35 likes to be highly appreciated. Thank y'all so much for all the support. Make sure to drop some comments down below, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be moving on into Ragnarok. From what I know, this is supposed to be a shard zone. Okay. Don't tell me we're gonna actually be, uh... Are we about to race again? As soon as we start, we have to, like, race. Okay. Yeah, this is Warrior's Wasteland. Whatever this is. I think it's another race, though. Yep, it is. Alright. So they start you off immediately with the freaking race. What's up with that? Alright. But I guess, you know what? It's the final world. Shouldn't be surprised. Anything can happen when you're in Eggman's territory, right? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, but here we go. Um, final world. So this one should probably be the most difficult race. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Kind of reminds me, level design-wise, uh, like another one that we did. Like, maybe the second one. I don't remember. I think it was the second one. Kind of reminds me of that. Maybe just a little bit different. How am I going to get up here? Here we go. Dude, I, I, I love the freaking uh, animations. Like, whenever you use your ice, like, whenever you're running, you can kind of see, like, the ice crystals forming behind you. And uh, whenever you air boost and stuff. It's really cool. Like, the fire looks cool, too, but the ice, man. I've always been more of a, of a cool guy anyway, you know? Like, winter's coming up. I'm more excited for that. Okay. Yeah, I've, been, I've always been more of a, a winter guy, like, fall and winter over spring and summer. Like, summer's cool and all, you know what? I have a little bit of fun with summer. Like, maybe one weekend out of the out of the summer. Like, go to the beach or something. Go to, like, a Slitterbond or, I don't know, like a water park. And then, and then that's it, like, I, I just don't have the spirit for it anymore, it's not that fun. You start getting freaking bugs and stuff, it's just not, I, I only have like maybe one week, <laughs> like one trip with my family or something that I just enjoy and then it kind of sucks to me, you know. It's kind of overrated, that's how I always felt about uh, summer anyway. I guess one good thing about summer, like if there's one good thing I could say is like, um, the, uh, like, Starbucks, like, the freaking Starbucks summer, uh, the Starbucks summer, uh, specials that they only carry for, like, two months, I swear. But that's about it, I mean, fall and winter are, like, way better to me. I like, I, I, I like being, like, I kind of prefer it being cool outside. Not too cold, but, you know, you could, you could put on warm clothes and it's not as bad, so there's that. I don't know, I just find it, I find like, um, like sweater, sweater, sweater weather, like better, I don't know. It's just me. Alright, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, let me know, like, <laughs> what's your favorite season, I don't know, it's a weird question to ask. This dude got on the first try that time, and so did we. And he's actually ahead right now, let's see if we can finish this, though. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this. Because we've been leading the entire time, but it would suck if we lose at the last second to this guy. Just because because he gets the last second uh, momentum swing. But we haven't lost one of these things yet. They're not, like, hard at all. Oh my god, clutch. Clutch. You're not ready for me, Mr. Robot. Just like that, we're done. We kicked that butt. That was a nice little workout. Alright, so this is the final world. We have some pretty awesome music here. Uh, so what I, from what I know, this is supposed to be a really short world. Like, maybe one stage, one boss. But this entire world is going to be basically like, um, like side stages like this. Which I said already in another part that I wouldn't be doing these for the most part anymore. Unless y'all want to see it, I can do a different video showing the rest of these off. But like, um, yeah, they're, they're all for like freaking trading cards. Like, yeah, I don't really care about trading cards. <laughs> Like, if, yeah, I don't, I really don't, so, I mean, if y'all want to see me get them, I will. Otherwise, we're going to be finishing up this game, like, really fast. Like, this is a really short world if you just take out, like, all the filler stuff. 
And this is double trouble. I think this is the final boss. I'm not really sure. Okay, the tracker says we're almost on top of the robot. This place is definitely the Ragnium source. The stuff is everywhere. Eggman must be mining for Ragnium here. And all the byproducts of Eggman's mining operation get piped through the fissures to the other islands. Ugh, nasty. Why does this place look like it's going to explode? That's my it's question, Knuckles. The, <laughs> the pressure is building up here at the source. Eventually, I bet it will explode. Look! This man, Eggman, came out. This man was, hit, was hitting the dank. <laughs> you again. What are you doing back here after I sent you to the islands to monitor the fissures? A task in which you failed miserably, I might add. Dude, what's up? <laughs> is this robot, like, gay or something? <laughs> I think he's like, I think he's like attracted to Eggman or something. Like he did this in another part. Dang man, why is he being so mean to this robot? Yeah, he's like super mean to this robot. God dang. <laughs> Dude, this robot, like, even even though, like, Eggman's being a piece of crap towards him, he's still, like, being loyal and stuff. Like, this thing's in love with Eggman. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be getting into it with the uh, final boss, so yeah. Might have to like switch my screens in a second. Because I'm pretty sure it's like one of those double, maybe. Like you have to use both screens to fight this thing, but I'm not sure about that. Alright, where the heck did this boss come from? Like, what is this? Where did this thing come from? Alright, so yeah, we do need both screens. I'm gonna switch my screens right quick so y'all can see both. Alright, we're back and we're gonna be uh, facing off with this boss. So he's already like dropping stuff on us. Or trying to. So we have to start off this with sticks, interestingly enough. I shouldn't be using up all my rings, should I? Yeah, but um... Yeah, I've already seen how this boss works. Basically, you have to throw your uh... Where the, the picture with the boomerang. You have to hit the rock that has the boomerang on it. And uh... Yeah, for whatever reason, you would assume on these sections that they like drop their little ice blocks or their fire blocks that have like a certain uh, thing on it. Normally throughout this LP, like whenever you see that, you use the opposite element. But you have to use the one that actually corresponds with it, so keep that in mind. You see it with the snowflake, and you use, it, you, you use your ice abilities on it, so. But yeah, um, from what I've seen, this wasn't like a super difficult boss. Just gotta use both screens to like see what's coming down on you. And that's about it. Alright then. Oh crap. I even see it like <laughs> I even see like I'm trying to do that, but okay, here you come to fire. Get out of here. I just wanna know where this this giant lizard looking thing come from. Like <laughs> there's like they don't explain where this thing came from. One second we're about to discipline the little robot. Next thing you know we have a giant robot we're about to fight, but whatever. Okay. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so far this boss isn't too too bad, so. Alright, halfway done with him. Alright, switch out, Sonic time. I love these little sections like whenever you see the, the character switch out for the f 
fights. I think that's really cool. Okay, is that like the robot up there? Like, what is going on there? Do what? Okay, my homing attack didn't work. Come on, do it again. All right. Yeah, my homing attack didn't work. It's. I guess that happens sometimes. Are you kidding me? Dude, okay. Do I not like get any uh, invincibility time here? Let me get my ring back. Yeah, you don't get like no invincibility time. That's weird. There we go. All right, two more hits. We got this. All right, he's dropping more stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's up. He just like yells at like they like yell or like roar at a uh, defect, and then that happens. I don't know. This boss already is like really confusing to me. Like, <laughs> what's going on with it? Came out of nowhere, and it's like weird. That's where you know to like. What? I still touched it? Are you kidding? Look at that ring. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna use our air dash against. Like, whenever they do that. It's a good, like, last second thing to do. Alright, one more hit. One more hit. It's probably gonna stall its butt off, because that's what it did the last time. Oh my god, these things are dropping fast now. Alright, we got this, though. As I say that, <laughs> we get hit by, like, a stupid thing. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. What you gonna do next? Alright, he's doing that again. Alright, ice time. Alright, that is that. Is this like the final boss or? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> Alright then, there we go. Yeah, it was not a hard boss. I actually enjoyed this one a lot more than some of the other bosses, to be completely honest. And that's how you do it! Defect completely ruined the mine, so it's impossible to mine Rackium here again! Anybody? No help! Oh. <laughs> Lots of help! <laughs> This dude's back. <laughs> My back is never gonna be the same. Well, I suppose I should show some sort of appreciation. <laughs> Here. I got robot two thousand. Why are we still calling it that? <laughs> I'm so sorry about the way I treated you. All you wanted was to give me love, and I returned that with contempt. If <laughs> 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 you had only known, I wouldn't have let the most powerful mech I've ever built get beaten by Sonic. Oh, well. <laughs> Now he's as harmless as a puppy. I still need a I need like some explanation how Tellus does that. Those words I can't seem to say. Thank you. That's them. If you'll excuse me, I have to go review my insurance policy and see if it covers active bot. Even with insurance, the deductible's gonna kill him. That's how they get you. <laughs> he's not lying. Like if you if you have a car and you pay for car insurance, he's not lying. But uh, yeah.
Okay, so that was the final boss, and that does it for this LP. Um, yeah, I guess I'll give like a really quick review because this has gone really fast as far as the credits. Um, I really, really enjoyed this game. Like, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna be playing this a lot more. Um, like outside of this LP, like it, it's a really fun game. Um, like a much bigger improvement from Shadow Crystal, I have to say. Um, everything about this game just seemed more uh, polished. You know, it's a really polished game. Um, they the, they delayed it. They uh, did they they did whatever they had to do to make this game good and it got a good score. And I'm happy about that. You know. So um, yeah, it's just the, it's really a game that Sonic needed, especially the boom side. Like, it's a game that the Boom side needed as far as, like, scores. Like, I think both Sonic and Sonic Boom needed it. Because, uh, Sonic is just getting, like, all kind of hate for, like, uh, mediocre games and stuff. But, um, like, this is definitely, this game right here is definitely a, a, a step in the right direction. All they have to do is just keep on treating every game like they did this one. Sonic's gonna be back on track. I'm gonna, like, I, I, I think this game's fantastic. That's all I gotta say. Um, I think it's like a really rewarding game. Um, I compare it to like Sonic 2. Like I know it's a kind of it's kind of a reach, but it it reminds me a lot of Sonic Sonic 2, where you know the game and it rewards you for learning the game and playing it a lot, you know. But uh, yeah, like like I said, everything about this game just seemed like a much bigger improvement from the other the other Boom games, you know. Um, the characters feel a lot more at home. They they aren't like awkward like the first time. Um, they they definitely like what they did is like made them a lot like the cartoon this time around like so it, it really worked like it felt like a little side adventure from like the cartoons or something so that's what it needed to be especially for like kids playing this I'm sure they're gonna love this game and that's really all like boom is like supposed to be the, the kids spinoff thing so I think they did a fantastic job with with that and uh, Sanzaro games they got the chance to actually put out a uh, a game that they wanted to make they said shadow crystal was kind of like rushed by sega like uh but it was the more polished game compared to uh rise of lyric but both games got rushed but yeah they actually got to do what they wanted with this game and it shows you know they got to, they got to um polish it up they got to they got to just work with what they wanted to do and you know it's not it just wasn't rushed so that's great and uh yeah Everything that I already had to say about this game has been said. Uh, so yeah, that looks like that is it for this this um, like the main part of this LP. Um, like I said, if y'all want to see all this extra stuff going on, like in the corners, like these, like the tell stages and all that, I'll be happy to do them in a different video. Just let me know down below. Like I'll do it. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much done with the main part of this LP. It's been a lot of fun. And um, yeah, can we? actually get back on the plane and leave or how's that go? I don't think we can wait let, let me press B you know I don't think I can leave like I think I'm stuck in this world or something I like have to reset and go back to the world I don't really know but yeah let me just go forward and see if the planes back that way maybe so let's see uh, but other otherwise we're like done with this LP I'll show off some like extra stuff and end off this LP next time we will be uh i got like some some stuff planned we're gonna be looking at uh, a a big sonic game coming up really soon i haven't announced what it is yet if you follow me on twitter you might have a hint you might already have a hint a hint of it already but yeah uh stay tuned you'll be hearing from me really soon as far as my next lp and until then peace out y'all have a good night